Yay. Cool. All right. Here we are. Fantastic. Live. Uh, Dina 6 TV with Lenny Green. And uh, it's my first live interview since COVID. I like being and number one. Yeah. Uh, help me welcome Lenny Green, man. <laughs> amazing, amazing. It's perfect. And, yeah. Isn't it perfect? Look at the little, the little, uh, the stuff hanging off the, in the back, and this is. It's real. And then we have Francine Cruz off to the side, my you little the actress. actress, the actress, the actress, actress Francine Cruz, yeah. off to the side, and uh, welcome. Thanks so much for coming. It's my honor. Uh, sorry, it took me a minute to get here. No, no, it's all right. Gave me an opportunity to actually research you more, so I really got to know you. This is weird for me. What? What's weird? It's Tell weird me. that I'm on this side. You asking me a question? Yeah. Normally, I'm doing it the opposite way. Yeah, so yeah. I might be compelled to ask you a couple of questions. Hey, you know, who doesn't love talking about themselves, right? <laughs> but my show is actually an opportunity to speak to people in the entertainment industry. And it's really been an honor and a pleasure for me. And really, it's uh, hum it's humbling uh, just to speak to creatives like yourself on, you know, mm -hmm. sit down and chat and see. Uh, I do research and I am prepared, but I like a little more organic, you know what I mean? So that's the best way. Yeah, well, you never know. I, I actually watched a lot of your tapes and you were like, when you first started off, you were prepared, but you didn't do a lot of listening. So I'm trying to do a little more. Oh, so you read that? Yeah, I, I read it and I heard it and I heard it. I would just make my notes yeah. and just read my notes yeah. and wouldn't pay attention to you. You know, when I listened back, I was yeah. like, man, I should have do read that if I could have, would have Too late. Too late. Yeah, because it really is the art of listening, which so, I'm not good at. At all, it is an art. I'm glad you said it. It is an art. Most people listen. Most people don't listen. Most yeah. people just yeah. respond. Yeah. They don't want to listen. Yeah. And listen the youth. Understand. The youth. Oh, oh my God, God. The youth. Yeah. Well, I, we can't talk about the youth unless we talk about the adults. The youth. Well, let me tell you something. We don't want to talk. We don't want to talk about. Uh, we don't want to be critical of anybody. You know, you, you show um, quiet storm. Quiet storm. I listened to whole soundtracks on YouTube of your music that you chose, and it really sounded like a film score. Have you ever considered like hopping over to LA? You know, I didn't see any LA mentioned anywhere in, you know. No, um, yeah. you know, the Quiet Storm name is a name that has been used broadly. Yeah. I, I, I'm not the creative one that came up with it. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna credit Kathy Hughes. Yeah. But she was a big uh, supporter of Smokey Robinson. Yeah. That was Smokey Robinson's comeback album after his hiatus. Mm -hmm. So the concept of the Quiet Storm was really embellished mm -hmm. out of Washington, D.C. at different places around the country used the name. Right. But no one has the Quiet Storm with Lenny Green unless it is Lenny Green. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the music is, is complimentary to setting the movie. And it's all about setting the movie. And it's so musical, so 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 theatrical. I mean, I just love it. So when you're going to do, because I know you're a film director. Wow. Aside from doing this, you're a film director. So when I'm writing you, a script, I'm going to put you in. You see, I wasn't I listening. So. I couldn't wait. Oh, my God, since I bet you're watching. I'm going gonna... I'm I'm to give her kind of the back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a concept. And I just want oh, cool. partial associate oh, cool, producer. Cool. Oh, you want a little social producer? Oh, of course, oh, course, course, course. I'm an executive producer. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> So you remember, <laughs> oh man, play Misty for me. That's all, oh my gosh, no. Do you remember who was in it? No, 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 no. I'm so, I'm so sorry. sorry, I'm so sorry. Play Misty. Oh, well, who doesn't love, okay. Who doesn't love Play Misty? Okay. All right. He was a radio guy. And he Stop had a star. It. The beginning, the middle, the end. Close the curtain, drop the mic. Is that, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna watch it tonight. What do you want to do? A remake of that movie? I put why well, Dina Six put her twist on it. It's yeah. because it was a black man, and uh, I can relate to the situations. That's what I like. Wow! All right, I will check it out. What's the movie name of the movie? Play Misty. I can't wait to see it tonight. And then you should come back and check out the Kathy Bates movie, Misery. Oh, well, who didn't love Misery? I saw. Oh. Do you want to play Misery? Yeah, you want you me to Misery? Because we could get a hammer and a board now. Oh no 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 <laughs> no no. no, 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 no. <laughs> See, she went a little bit too far. Bit too but far. that misery's all like, woo! -hoo. No, no, no. I'm writing an original comedy, and half of it's out of LA, out of Miami. Oh, okay. And I'm I'm, I'm getting finding characters, so you know. Yeah. You're a character. <laughs> Am I? I'm a character. Yeah. 
<laughs> Fabulous character. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think it would be, this is where we get uh, our imagination from, is real life from people. Where I, uh, as a child, I had a great, a wonderful imagination. Yeah. You know, my older brother and I were 12 years apart, so we pretty much grew up by ourselves. So, oh, and he's 12 years apart, you got to hear his music and his history? Something like that. Mm. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was him who actually got interested in radio. Huh? I wasn't doing I wasn't doing radio. Yeah, yeah, what were you thinking about when you were young? What was it? I see. Nice. Michael you know, Jackson II, you know, I saw that. Michael and let Jackson. me tell you, I cried when I watched your interview with, with the, the Jacksons. Jacksons. I saw them in Vegas. I cried the entire show. I was crying yeah, in Vegas. It was but it was such an honor. Wow. Because what you know, honor. the what Jacksons. Wow. The Jacksons is, uh, is, a, is a family business who was like our extended family. We were growing up. Oh, yes. Are you kidding me? So who who knew think? the Osmonds? The, when, when Michael well, the Osmonds Jackson, were second. They were second, but mm -hmm. they were second. And then the Silvers came in fifth. Who? Ah, a little homework assignment for you, dude. See, I had to come to the show. He's got to show bearing me. Bearing homework. No, no, no. Right, bearing homework. Bearing I homework. got a whole list. I got to write this stuff down. I got to get you prepared for the movie. Wow. Look, from your lips to God's ears, he's preparing me for the movie. From your lips to God's ears. I, you know, I just shot, and I thought of you too. I didn't just shoot. Last summer, we shot an urban feature through Brooklyn, the Bronx. And uh, Kel Stansby, he wrote this crazy script. And through COVID, we shot all through wow. your neighborhood. Yeah, we just screened up in, in um, Brooklyn. In Brooklyn. And Lenny Green wasn't from, You know, I mean, Kells would kill me. If I would have met you last year, That's he's going to have a part two. Would you be in this film? You have to speak to my agent, Francine Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she might be able to. You know, she, she got you into this mess, yeah. too. Going back, look how random we are. That, Cap, that Kathy Hughes was literally the first African-American woman ever to have a corporation that was on the stock market. Yeah. Mind-blowing. Radio One. Mind-blowing. I mean, one. wow. The, wow. entity, the entity that she has, yeah. the empire that she has built, wow. is phenomenal. And she came from bottom because she was the actual host. She actually did the talk show. It's not like wow. she just came into corporate America. She was, she was the host, and she still, she still wow. is. That's that's wow. epic. That's epic. So you you were going to be a singer, and I saw on so many of your interviews you said you can't sing a lick anymore. I don't believe you. Well, you know what they say. No. Well, if you didn't have enough at practicing, is that why? If you don't use it. If you don't lose it, you'll lose it. You understand the song, okay. No, no, and I do it because I am a quote unquote not a singer singer. But you said I just got in the choir last so year. So there's three people are singing. Yeah, okay. Can you guess it? No, your girl, your girl, you, and your mother? Me, myself, and I. You, me, myself, and I. So, me, myself, and I. You know. So you wanted to be a singer, second Michael Jackson. Did you dance too? You dancing too? So I was in a, a stage production once, and I had to learn mm -hmm. routine. Um, so that was the extent of my dance. When was that? When was that? Well, it was probably in the 1800s. <laughs> and you uh, got me the same age as me, at least. You look older. I, I, are you a doctor? Is somebody are older than me? <laughs> is Dina six a doctor? If she's is a doctor, somebody, I'll be more. Is somebody older than me? I'm, Francine, are you older than me? Francine's off to the side over here. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah. That was the only production yeah. uh, thing I did. Yeah. And then upon doing that, it's hard work. Because oh. then when I had the singing group, uh, we did routines all the time. Yeah. But this was a, a, a full-fledged production. Everyone, you had to be in sync with like 50 other people. On step, one time, and you know, you're, you're, you're counting beats. And, well, I love it. I, I, I participated in a dance um, a dance competition in um, 2018. Oh, wow. That's that was, that oh, was, you did? You participated? Not the, dancing with the stars, was it? it? Was, it's the preliminary, in my mind, to right. dance with the stars. Because if, if, if I get to dance with the star, yeah. forget about it. Oh my God, that you really. I, I have come full you, circle. You've made it full circle. <laughs> oh my God, that's fantastic. I can't even imagine like riding my bike and singing, never mind doing a whole dance routine and singing. Mm -hmm. Of course, most of the people on the big stage have the soundtrack. They're not really singing while they're dancing, but that's another, that's another, uh, <laughs> right, right. That's right. another uh, story too. But uh, so. You know, you talked a lot and you give a lot of praise to your college, Kings, Kingsborough Community College. You really do. I mean, that was a turning point. Yeah. Uh, coming into college, singing. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Came out of high school yeah. as a kid, singing, 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 mm -hmm. college singing. Oh, you went under this music major, singing major in Kingsborough? 
Uh, I went to liberal arts. Singing, though. Kept coming in singing. Yeah. A semester and a half in. Yeah. I did. I've been told the first semester, you should go to the radio session. I blew it all uh, before. Yeah, because your deep voice. Everybody talks about your smooth voice, but. Oh, God. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, it's okay. I so, dropped the so, 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 when it ended up happening, I, I did. No, I could have done it. I could so then when it ended up happening, I ended up going to the college radio station and instantaneously, it was like God turned off one light and put on another. Wow. He probably said, kid, yeah. you're not going to do well in the city. I'm going to mm. open up this path for you mm. to do something with your voice Love that it. relates to music and that you can touch people. Beautiful. So I, I'm grateful and thankful for the blessing. Well, that's amazing. Well, you know, thank God that you're in tune to, uh, to the Almighty to even, oh. You know, before I even accepted him as my Lord and Savior back yeah. in '91, yeah. as a child, I mean, I was oh, yeah. a as a child, raised so in a, wow. Oh, yeah, Baptist church and all that. Did you guys know? No, Catholic, oh, Catholic, Catholic, eight years. Wow, oh, yeah, you eight, Catholic eight years, eight years in Brooklyn, huh? Eight oh, wow, and I escaped that and multiple, but they knew better. Oh, I never, <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't the one. You? They knew my mama, they understood me. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. anything, they got after me for, they called me militant because I had this huge afro. Oh, fantastic. And, uh, and when I met, when I met Francine Cruz, Right. My, my hair Francine was Cruz on is my, over there. You don't want to step inside. My hair was on my shoulder. Wow. Afro days. I'm thinking about getting a perm. So not. I think I'd be, I know, you too. <laughs> I think I'll do it good. Maybe one more. <laughs> hey, Lenny came out here. He did two. He did two shows today, and it came out D six TV. So, you know, it is a hustle still. And thank God, thank God, you, you know, um, you're in the game. And I also I saw you interview with so many uh, famous people. Did but did you ever meet Whitney Houston? Because she was absolutely one of my favorites. No, I, I never met her. I met her mom oh, on wow. many occasions. Yeah, but yeah. Never, never with her. Yeah, came close. Wow. And uh, Luther, Luther Vandross. That was a dream. Well, you know what? It's so fit. So the Luther, when I finally interviewed Luther, yeah. I had met her several times before, but in a different capacity because I was serving as a system program director and music director at a radio station. Yeah. So when artists would come into town or they would come by the station, it was my job to kind of make sure they did what they had done, you know, drops or whatever, meet whoever they needed to meet, and then shut them back out. So I had met him on a few different occasions, and when he would come and visit the radio station, there was a prerequisite that mm. Luke would require air conditioning off. Air conditioning off? Wow. 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 Madonna. He's like Madonna. Oh, really? Madonna did Yeah, yeah, yeah. She turns it off in the whole stadium, like sweating her ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, the vocal cords, the air conditioning tears yeah. up the vocal cords. And I, I can't. I, if I sleep with AC on, especially if it's directly over him, but. You can sleep. Oh, if, it's, if you sleep with it directly is. on you? Yeah. Oh, okay. you gotta do that, Maya. You're gonna slay like canceled. Oh, wow. No. I'm learning. Really. It's really, really, um, really fantastic. And I met, actually met Lanny. He was kind enough. He came with his girl, Francine Cruz, to the screening of the uh, of my film, that Francine, that, that Francine, Francine, Francine. Francine. She had a lead role. She was fantastic. Well, she was. They do the storm. She was the star. J Lo, who? J Lo, who? Have you seen J Lo? I mean, it's just endless, endless. No, no. no. Look, look out for friends and crew. She's an aspiring, phenomenal star. She's sense. just. She was such a natural, and just, and it was not only that, but it was so much fun to work with her. Because <laughs> I can tell you, she, you know, she, and in order to be a, a an actor, you have to have an opinion. Oh. You know what I mean? You have to, you know, you have to chew on the character and have, and she has an opinion. She's she's a character. <laughs> you you did use the word character the well, right? Yeah. You called me a character. Well, we're I mean we're all, we're all characters. Yeah. I like the way you dressed through the years too. My God, did you have some swag on? And you had the mustache. Yeah. I think oh so. my God, the bomb! It was. When, when my when my producer was like. Could you cut the mustache, please? Because you can't get he it lined up. He made you take up. the mustache. You can't get it lined up the right way. And I was back. I was watching that. The only time, got, only time the mustache got right was when I went to the club. Yeah, well, you of course. You up. Well, I don't have that kind of money. Dude. Oh, please. So when you don't have that kind of money, you kind of do it yourself. What so about the best philanthropy? Uh, I saw on your thing you uh, do a lot of causes and things like that. I do. You're an 
Yeah, that's I, wonderful. I, I'm about to do one too. That's in community, yeah. In yeah. The, it's, it's about uh, giving back. It's about just appreciating. The highlight of, I think, my Lenny Great Family Day is, now that my mom is gone, is giving mm -hmm. away the, uh, the Mama Green Women of Dignity Award that I created in remembrance. Oh, how beautiful is that? Aww. I like things. Oh, no, no, it's fantastic. So, uh, it's a, what is it, a competition or you just... A, no, it's just a, it's a day in the park and we bring out uh, doctors to do health, free health care Oh, ah, fantastic. We uh, bring out the fire department to show... This year? CPR. It's going to be? This year. Oh, wow. To show CPR and to teach people how to get out of a smokehouse. Um, we have doctors answering questions. I'm doing this interesting segment called Boys to Men and the Boys where... I want the senior men to be on the stage and the young men to be in front of them. Oh, it's beautiful. Because what I'm saying to the older men is that this is your youth. Yeah. What would you say to you oh. in the position that you're in? And I'm hoping they inspire the young men to ask, what is their future looking like through the eyes of these men? It's beautiful. It's, uh, it's urgent. It's so necessary. It's necessary. It's super, super necessary. Yeah, and that's, that's I think, the, the big uh, generation gap. Yeah. Not enough communication. Yeah. and absence of certain individuals in people's lives. Yeah. So I hope to make a difference, and uh, we have fun doing it. You know, we bring out entertainers. We have Gerald Boston from the Manhattans. We have oh, another renowned singer. We have, uh, you know, we bring out rappers. Yeah. It's just a fun filled thing. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's so important. You know, the one, the one thing that we had back in our day was community. I, I saw an interview uh, where the woman said that, they said that, uh, black women can't raise black men, but in, there's a certain era that if black women didn't raise the black men, then who then you know I who mean, was doing it? Right. Well, so I I, 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 found, I found that I don't I don't know if I'm saying that right. I found that uh, insulting. Well, yeah, I mean, because they cat they they categorized everyone. Because uh, yeah. my mom uh, raised three. Right. You know so. I, I, I just felt and that. And there's so many other mothers so that do the same thing. Yeah, yeah. It was like, yeah. Well, you can't, you can't, you can't judge everyone by one or several situations. I think you have to look at everything broadly because there are always a, a B to to an A. You know, so there's always an alternative. No, of course, there's always a brighter, uh, a brighter side and a, and a, you know, what do they say, three sides every story. Yeah. So I believe in that too. Yeah. Left, right, and the truth. Yeah. And we yeah. never find out the truth sometimes. Yeah. Because that's right. Well, the truth, truth is. Uh, Perception. So mm. that's the hard part. If perception could talk. If perception could talk. Boy, would it be? Would it be interesting? It would smack a lot of people in the face. It really. If it, if, if it were perception was truth, it would smack. <laughs> but well, perception is true. Yeah, it's the only truth everybody has. Because how many times did you do something, and then by the end of the day, you had this whole story that was true? But my mother does that all the time. Hi, Sam. And she's the only one watching. It's the one person. If anybody's watching, it's my mother. She'll tell me stories, and none of it's true. But it's her perception of what happened. I respect you. For that. So, we all have an opinion. Yeah. So, also, I, you not, and what I think is so fantastic, and what people don't understand is nobody like yourself is really only good at, good at one thing. Like, you were in the longest running off Broadway show. Off -Broadway show. No one would ever think. Playing the role of a DJ. Look at that. But so what? Who knew? Who, I mean, but, I, I was I already had finished college at that time. Yeah. So I knew what I wanted to do. Yeah. So this was like a warm up before it became reality. That I got oh, paid for. This was before you were actually a DJ. This is before. Is I it Monday through Friday? Did it run Monday through Friday? It ran not Monday through Friday. Yeah. Theaters, theater. So yeah. in New York, uh, theater runs Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday through Sunday. And how long did it run? If it's so long? It ran for wow. years. So you, the head you the had to go there. there every... Well, they had more than one person. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. that's so that's was, a commitment. It was probably like maybe six of us, including, oh, the, yeah. creator, including the woman who actually wrote it, which is Maya Higginson. Oh. Renowned, popular, uh, wonderful, talented, great person. Maya Higginson. Is Maya Higginson. Amazing. I have not, I've been more interested in the film than I am have, have been the radio, but I love music and composing and all that mm -hmm. thing. So I learned so much through uh, listening to your interviews about these women and about the, you know, the radio and like, I didn't realize, I thought it was a night show that you, it would actually be at night. I didn't realize. I do. It. 
Yeah. Well, see, you know, since COVID and since our show became syndicated, yeah. we've had to do things a lot differently in order to do it. So when I'm in Miami, the show is live. When I'm in, in Miami and I have to do shows from New York, it can't be as live. So I might pop in here, here but I have to record it to make a job a bit earlier. So it is still a nighttime Batman, show. Yeah. But because of my going back to another word that you used earlier, imagination, I set myself. It's almost like acting. Yes. Yeah. Radio is theater of the night. Yeah, you're there by yourself. Like you said, I'm, I'm just is, talking to really a piece of metal. That's it. Right. So I create my images. Wow. And my ambiance and whatever I need to do to it. It's fantastic. Up. Yeah, I heard you. Uh, uh, you made the green room in your uh, in your. I mean, just you know, and that's part of creating the ambiance. You know what I mean? It is. Um, I think when I, st I got kissing got at the night, is that the name of the show? It's kissing at the dark. Kissing at the dark. I close, should know that. Close. I watch it. Kiss it. Yeah, I should know <laughs> that because I watch it. Kissing at the dark. Kissing at the dark. I mean, what a reputation you have as a smooth guy, right? Never been married, Lenny. No, never, never been married. Never been married. Been kissing at Oh, you've been engaged, been engaged. and no, no children. No kids. No children that you know. Of. And I'm okay. I just want you. <laughs> no, I'm okay with it too. Well, no, no, I'm okay. You know, so you ladies said, no kids. Oh, like I'm trying to. Right, honey. I mean, I have. I'm sixty. You don't have to worry about me. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> No, 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 you, 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 Oh, you, get it wrong. I'm such a slob. You know, no, meaning don't, that, don't you know, well, can you have kids? Maybe like, you know, can you have kids? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'm still Oh, it's, oh, well, men can have kids until they, you know. Well, you don't, we don't want, I don't think, except Stevie Wonder, because Stevie yeah. Wonder just had a baby. I mean, and Eddie so Murphy's old. got like. <laughs> Eddie Murphy has a silly, but he can He don't it. stop either. He I can know. afford it. He can afford it. Yeah. But, no, not yet, not yet. No, no, I, I never, you know, um, I, I never, I never had kids, children even, and I, and well, I, I Dina never six. did. Dina's six. I've been married twice, um, but I never had children. You didn't want it. No, I just like you. So I'm okay. I didn't say I didn't want. Oh, you asked me. Well, hey. I mean, honey, if you wanted to have kids, I mean, oh, so I should just go out here and just have a child? Isn't it? At this stage of the game, yes. Oh, oh, I didn't, I didn't read that chapter yet. Oh no, no, you could, you could adopt and just get a. Sure. But I wanted, I wanted to be authentic. I wanted the DNA. What, why didn't you and Francine actually? Well, you, that's the second part of the interview that you brought. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be late for a Dina <laughs> Six interview. <laughs> Don't be late because she will get you. She said, Let me you sit down. I'm just so happy to be live <laughs> uh, and not speaking through a Zoom. And at this stage of the game, I know you so well because I literally watched hours and hours of so your you videos yesterday. Do you know what kind of blown away yet? No, but you want you want to tell everybody? Well, I think you can tell them. <laughs> no, because it wasn't on so, there. Oh, I read. I kept that off of you. That's good. It wasn't on your yeah, bio. Sir, it doesn't even say how old you are on your bio either. Unless you're a doctor. It doesn't say on your bio. Oh, how old? Yeah, unless you're a doctor, you cannot find out. I how old you are? Later. Well, I was still with the math, with all the you know what you did in the nineties and this. And that. What about disco? Is this going out the just the greatest time in life? Well, the, in New we, York, we know the we know the clothes we. Quite interesting, but I mean, I love the. I mean, I've seen and the music. platform shoes and the flare. Goldfish, bottles. remember the goldfish in the box? I, I saw that in the movie. I didn't see that. Thank God, in real life, I never saw that. Did, did you hit the discos in New York? No, I had a very. My mom was very. Uh, I was a late bloomer. You were a late bloomer. My mom kept me locked down. I, I don't locked down in the disco era. Oh, yeah. Discos were seventies, right? Eighties. No. Oh my God! 1980 was the the highlight of 70, oh. 78, 76, 77, 78, 79. You went to clubs, right? I went to clubs. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't go to you didn't go to any clubs. I didn't go to clubs. In, in being, living in Brooklyn. Yeah. Wow, you are a goody two shoes. Well, I know about that, but I never went to clubs. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Really? Yeah. I'm shocked. Uh, being in look, the I think I hear a lot of. Uh, People say, well, you know, when I was growing up, you had to be in the house by the time the light, the, the, the street lights come on. Oh, you didn't even I, could, I couldn't do so much, but so much. But, Let yeah. me tell you, my father tried that too, but once I turned 17, uh, that was like, oh! But girls, girls are a lot different. Well, everything is different these days. Yeah. But girls take on a very stronger, independent role. And uh, I didn't have that opportunity. As being the baby, and there was no other siblings around me. I had a couple of best friends, and even they went out to the clubs. So they were going out to the clubs to New York yeah, at eleven o'clock at midnight. Oh, we didn't even think of going out to eleven o'clock at night. 
Yeah, I don't know about that. Are you in your 40s? How can you not be this close? I'm 78. <laughs> if you want to know my age, I'm 78. You can't believe I'm the only one that's willing to tell my age. <laughs> oh, my sure. God, take a sip. I mean, I could, I could, um, <clears throat> what's next, Lenny? Yeah, I mean, you have any uh, aspirations to change it up a little bit? Not that I'm saying TV it's not a Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I checked out your IMDb, and you got a couple little things going. No, I can't. You have an IMDb on there. I don't. Yes, you do. I do. Yeah, you got a couple little little. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I mean, mean all independent films. Yeah, well, independent is still on IMDb. Yeah, I'm surprised people even know that. I don't. Yeah. How did how do you how does a person you just, start an IMDb? Oh, you just go on and you just pay the twenty dollars a month. <laughs> but somebody else would have have done that. No, no I didn't do it. No. Yeah. Well, if some, if you're in somebody's film. Great. Nah. That's all I've been. That's that's all I've been in somebody else's film. I've never made my own. And no, you don't have to make your own. If you're in somebody else's film, they put you on IMDb. Oh, yeah, because there was a project recently that was uh, a movie that you were in that you played. Uh, it was a motorcycle kind of movie. I played. I played a motorcycle kind of movie. Oh, I yeah. played a reporter. You played a reporter in that movie. Yeah. Right. And then there's another movie I played a uh, yeah. cop. There was another movie I put in. One of the first things. Oh, they typecast in you on that cop stuff. Well, you know, here's the crazy part. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a secret that yeah. you probably didn't read about. Yeah. I wanted to become a cop. Ah, right. I can, I can see that. I can see that. What you well, say? because you're such a nice guy and you care about philanthropy and you know you were goody two shoes. You didn't go to the club, so you had aspirations of. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> well, I didn't even go there. Um, but yeah, I can, I can people see look that. at me and say, "Are you a cop?" I get this all oh, the time. Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of cop friends. They say, oh, it's your demeanor or it's your, the way your stance is. So I think you're a cop. Yeah. Did you ever meet Method Man? Yes. My God, he's killing it in TV. Killing it. Killing but he's, but here's so, what we recently learned. I don't know, you probably heard the same thing I heard. Yeah. He's always had, always had an aspiration to act. Wow. So. I actually met him. I, he was in a music video that I produced. Oh, wow. Which one was it? Uh, it was just recently he did, he collaborated with uh, this other cat, uh, Animal, whatever. It was mm -hmm. the latest collaboration. He, he's so accessible, he collaborates with everybody. That's what makes his brand, though, and his, and his signature so, so international. Yeah. I, I love it. So I, I'm glad to continue success Method Man on, on the Power Book 2 thing, and I think I'll take that to the next level. God, he's an amazing actor. He plays that lawyer, and he's believable. It's just, and he was in that movie that I loved. And don't ask me the name right now. <laughs> my damn head. Forget it. But he was he was amazing in the movie. A he lot, was so believable. I think a lot of the hip hop artists are realizing, you know, what they do videos. They were doing yeah. videos all along. Ah, oh, he's so pioneer. That's like acting. Wu Tang. So, and, and what now, was it? Wu Tang. Wu Tang. My God, amazing. Oh, you want to turn it off? Is it too loud? She's so nice. She's turning it off me. Is that too loud? No, no, no. Uh, it's amazing talent. Amazing. amazing. And his sidekick and the show they had. Did you see the thirty-minute series they had? The him and his see, sidekick. No, no, no. Hysterical see. comedy, like uh, Prince of Bel Air, but before Wu Tang did it first. Really? Yeah, they had a series I for a couple know, of years. I didn't know that at all. But you know, there's so many people. Look, look at Queen Latifah. I just Will saw Smith. her on the street in Bayonne shooting that movie. I love Queen Latifah. Did, Bayonne, did New Jersey. You see did she ask for so No, but they had a crew of 9,000, and all she did was on the corner on the phone with the phone. That's it. That's it. And there was, the whole street was shut Why down. was all that take place? Would you do that as a film director? No. So? I like more cinema verite. If I had the opportunity, of course. But I, it's so overstaffed that it's just. So, have you heard of a gentleman by the name of Devon Franklin? I met him, and I actually met his wife. Megan Good. Megan, good. I have a Christian. Oh, go ahead. You finish. You finish. Christian I'm film. shaking. I'm shaking. Well, I, well, I finished. Let me finish. I don't listen. I only told him. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I met him. And, and Megan. She actually loves me. Oh, I can't imagine. You're a great winning person. Oh, thanks so much. What so, about, so, what so about no, no, no. I think he has said to me, and also, are you familiar with, um, uh, he's an actor, he's a director as well, Bill Duke. No, I haven't met Bill Duke. That's another homework side of it. He's a legend. <laughs> Bill Duke. So Bill Duke was saying that the key to, to, to directing, directing from Rock, because I just interviewed him. Matter of fact, he has, I think the movie already came out with him and Don Cheadle and a few other phenomenal names I can't remember. I'm writing something down. I am getting attention. Um, the key to film directing is not only, is, is really budget. That's one of the key elements. Keeping everything under budget, preferably. Because yeah. they give you a budget, let's say, of a few million dollars. They yeah. want that way under from where you're spending. And, 
and managing people's times and how everything comes together, et cetera? Well, it depends. That's more the assistant director's job. Of course, the director in TV has to do the shot list and you have to stay. TV is completely different than narrative feature. TV, if you're a director, it's time management. Go, go, go. Your exact shot list. You save your fancy shots for the end if you have the time. Mm. I, my, my babe is not TV. It is film narrative, which is, you get a little, you know, in TV, when you direct an actor, there's so much pre-production and so that a, a, a director barely gets to spend time with his actor. Really? Yeah, because... When, by the time you say roll, it's all pre-production, this, that, wow. time management, shot. You just get to spend really very little time. But film narrative, film is is my bad, which I love. So the most important thing for you, because I'm always wanting to ask a film director this time, yeah. don't get a chance to offer. Yeah. When you when you are slated to do a film or you create your own film. Yeah, which that's what I do. Yeah. Which we can do. Yeah. Um, but right now, you all the control is in your hand. If you were working under the umbrella of a film company, yeah, like, you, like a Paramount, one of those Lionsgate, yeah, how much will that change in terms of how you manage what you do? Well, I haven't had that experience for a Lionsgate or or. or I'm sorry. Know. Do you think there will be like company. you don't have all the time in the world to kind of shoot this film? No, of course not. No, and you know, uh, independent film two million is as much as they'll spend. And on a higher budget film, if if, if your script is more than ten, fifteen million dollars, you're not going to get that made either because it's always they have to make money. So if if you can write a script, when you're a director and a writer, you try to write a script within a two million dollar budget if it's independent, so you can actually get it made. This this script that I just wrote is the is the first time that I wrote a script that I didn't so much worry about the budget. I just finished it, it's called mm -hmm. The Movement. I pitched it to Devon Franklin. Here we are talking about me, you're wow. such a doll. <laughs> so sorry. I was in LA and I was going to his church, Devon okay. Franklin's church, okay. and he got us all hyped up. So right away, I went right up and pitched my script at the end of church, you know. That's it's right. not about God, it's about church. It's about opportunity. I, I see, that's what I said to him. You said take the opportunity, well I'm taking the opportunity. Love you made a chess move. You said checkmate. He said checkmate. You got to get a director. I said, well, I'm a director, but no, that's the deal. That's the thing you have to do. Is you have you have to get a, a well. When you write this script, you have to get a well-known director, and you have to have your line producing. You have to you have to have a, a detailed budget of how much the film is going to cost, and you have to have a name on board. A name to star in. Yes, on board, but. It's 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 a long journey, but I don't give up. So this is what so your friends with Devon Franklin. Oh yeah. Oh my God, goodness! But his church was great too. I loved I, it. I haven't been to church. I haven't, well, I haven't been it was in a high time. school in in L.A. in the middle of you know off Wilshire Boulevard, yeah. and I went every Wednesday. You know, I was. And was preaching every Wednesday. Well, him and other guest preachers, and I was like five, may, maybe one or two, three, there was three, you know, three white 60 year old women like me, and the rest, but it was fantastic. And I went with other girls from church. Wow. And I met, actually met Megan because I did a, uh, I did a uh, fashion, she was on the cover of Friends Magazine. Okay. So she was actually on the cover oh, of the magazine. Oh, that's so we were in the four seasons and shooting Megan. So let me ask you something. Oh my God, I'm when, so when, sorry. I have, to, I have to ask you this, I don't get a chance to ask these detailed questions. Oh boy. Time. So when you have a, a, a person, yeah. like a, a yeah. mega star, like you said, a main name yeah, in yeah, film, yeah. you have to shoot according to their schedule. Because let's say they may have another project in the works. Oh yeah, of course. Do they get paid before the movie comes out? Well, it's all contractual, but I do know through experience, say they have another, another job, for like four days in between that, uh -huh. then the schedule they have to get paid for that. But that's that's not the director's. Thank you, God, you that's the, that's the producer. That's the producer. That's the producer. The producer is the money guy. When you have the, yeah, uh, assistant director, executive producer, associate producer. Thank God, when you get into a bigger budget of film, the director gets to just focus on the, film. the actors yeah. and the uh, you know. And the and the of course the time management and the shots yeah, yeah, yeah. like a DP like a camera guy a cinematographer if you don't know what you're doing as a director he'll steal the show he'll take over your movie 
And also, if you're not a good director, the actors will take over your movie, and then you're really in trouble. Oh. <laughs> that you really. See, it's more yeah. than that, more than to it than we realize. Okay. Yeah, your actors will take over, and then it's. Well, it's deep. Yeah. It's, so you told me something, because I didn't know that. Yeah, so are, are you in uh, the works for anything to, to be in any? Uh, in my mind, yeah. Yeah, well, COVID I mean, changed that many, though. It's not the No, no but, but a lot of actors yeah. I've been speaking to, yeah. they work around that. They, they bring them out. It's a 12 day lock, 12 day lockdown. Wow, yeah. Oh, prior start. to. Yeah. Prior to even working. Yeah, yeah. They test it and they're in the bubble before they start. Well, that's what the, 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 uh, the, the Queen Latifah, part of their whole network was there was this bubble right. where they actually put the actors and zipped them up in the bubble on the street. No way. I was like, it's outdoors. Get that poor woman out of that bubble. She was an inner bubble. She was literally in a plastic bubble no waiting. Way. She was not Queen Latifah, but the actor. They had him in a zip, zip bubble on the street in Bayonne. I was like, it's 80 degrees out. Now, COVID's in that bubble more than it is out outside. If we could catch COVID for being yeah, outside, no. Lenny, we'd all be dead. Let's, yeah, no, no. let's it's, take it's it down. Not At first, that was the speculation for a short minute. Yeah. They thought it was air. Short minute. But like AIDS. Well, no, it was a little longer than that, though. No, but I'm saying they thought that AIDS was airborne, too, in the oh, beginning. They had everybody printed. Yeah. Similar. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. But, you know, I, I pray a lot, so whatever God has Oh, there. yeah, yeah. Did, did, did uh, the COVID change the show at all? Well, it took me. Uh, well, I'm going to give you a testimonial. I had COVID. So oh, okay. So when, when I caught COVID, I had to shut down. Oh, I wow. Physically. How, how'd you I did, feel? I shut down. It's crazy. I shut down one show, but I struggled through doing the other show I did. Wow. So you felt you felt terrible? Horrible. Wow. It's not terrible. Horrible. See, these people don't realize. They think they get a little sniffle. and. Uh, Look, we're so prone. I think uh, this past year has reprogrammed my mind. I can't be the only person living on this earth that has reprogrammed. But I think we're so prone to um, hear a person cough. If you cough, I'll give you one cough, right? Because everybody could. <clears throat> but if yeah. you keep coughing, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, yeah. I had to get out of a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. I was in Hollywood, yeah. and I had the kid this cough was before first. you had COVID. Just, just last week. Oh. Kid cough. I'm gonna excuse the kid. Yeah. Kid was like maybe two years old. Yeah, yeah. Then I heard an adult cough. So <laughs> my ear, you know, if I was a dog, you know, you, you see a dog, see a move. Here we are my talking ear, about my cough, and I love it. Yeah, I know yeah. we're coughing right no, now. No, no, it's great. Right? So. But I heard the cough with congestion. Now I'm not a doctor. Oh no! I'm not a doctor. But yeah, I'm, yeah. That's and a I heard the congestion. Cough. I said, "I where the guy? Would, I need a to go." I heard the that. food just came. Right. I was so hungry. I got it. Wow. Because mask is off now. I mean, yeah. But I you got in. the COVID vaccine, right? You can still get it. It's okay because you didn't feel well, and you didn't, and you felt horrible. So you, you're like, you, you can still get it with the yeah. vaccine. I just want everybody to know, with the vaccine, you can still get COVID. Yeah, they're saying it's not going to be as bad. Yeah, and you're asymptomatic. Right, and and once you get COVID, yes, you do. Uh, your body develops. Now, with, you know, antibody, you take the antibody test? No, no, no. But you, your your body naturally develops yeah. an antibody. Right, right. So I had the antibodies before I took the medication. I see. Before I took the vaccine. Right, right, right. I got sick as a dog. How long did I, you take one? Uh, a day. Oh. Once, I mean, for, no, once with the vaccine. Oh, yeah, oh, me no, too. With COVID, three weeks. Oh, God. Three weeks. So, whatever, look, I know there's a lot of non believers. So, yeah. if you don't believe it's COVID, you can call any, you can call it spinach. You can call it Popeye. Yeah. It's something out here that makes people sick. And there's, it's something out here that a lot of people died from. And, uh, you know, I was watching the news the other day and, you know, I, it, it's a, this new variant now is, is affecting young. Delta. Young, yeah. And this guy, he's on his stomach. That's the only way he can breathe. He's 34 years old. And the first thing he said, I'm so sorry. I blew it off. I know. So then they don't even know if this guy's going to live. I, I'm praying that he does. Horrible. Sorry. Well, people aren't, like, if people aren't directly uh, harmed by it, they blow it off because they say, oh, I know these people, you know, they don't realize. Yeah, no, I mean, look, this was a uh, pandemic. Yeah, I know. We should all look at that. We're just coming pandemic. out the other end. Boy, oh boy, that was something. And already everything is, on, everything is on the rise because everything is open. And, and Florida's great, great. They don't even have COVID in Florida. 
What, yeah, what, what's that word? What's, <laughs> what's that word? What do they call them, Dead Santos? Oh, I didn't Not even Dead Santos. Oh, my they gosh. They call them Dead Santos. That's good. I didn't know about that. Yeah, 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 because he just completely don't care. doesn't acknowledge. Yeah, he don't care. But you have to care about yourself. Yeah, that, that's the deal. And, and if you love yourself and you have loved ones, especially of a certain age, yeah. Be mindful of them if you're not even mindful of yourself. Just say, I'm doing this for yeah, of course. my mother. I'm doing this for my aunt. I'm doing this for my grandfather. That that would be a smart one. Oh, yeah. Well, when, when, during COVID, we shot all through, like, the five boroughs of, of New York. Of New York. And it wasn't until we went up the mountains. We had 12 shoot days. We went up to the mountains, and then I said, oh, let me take off this mask. And when I took off the mask, I swear to God, everybody turned around and goes, oh, my God, is that what you look like? <laughs> because nobody, you know, I was so protected. Right, right. You have to be. You took precautionary measures. Yeah. But there's many people. And I, I didn't go around know. anybody either. I I hid out, literally. I didn't see my mother, my aunt, nobody. Right, right. I hid out. Because how old is mom now? Well, mom's got cancer right now. She's oh, she's 82, so I didn't even go. Yeah, I didn't even go near her. But. That's good. Yeah, I had answered my pants. I couldn't sit home anymore. <laughs> you had to get out and start. I had to get out and move around. Well, you know, I mean, and, and that's good. I mean, I think you kept your sanity like that as well. And yeah. a, a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of, we're noticing a lot of uh, mental health issues that have come to surface now. Um, not to say that it wasn't there before, but, you know, when you take a year, you shut everything down, and you can find people and they can't do, or you can't see, you can't touch, because we, we're human beings. We like to feel in touch, communicating with yeah, people. Yeah, of course. When you're just confined to not doing that, it messes you up. It messes you up, and the opi opioid epidemic, and then people had it. You know, we're home alone, mm -hmm. and the addiction rate. Yeah, every, everything went skyrocket. Skyrocket, including the horses. Ah, and babies too. I'm probably sure there's a lot of there's between your music there's some, getting yeah. back to quiet storm somehow. Well, my, my job and his music. There's probably a lot of babies. Look at my, Francine sitting over there on the other side. To your job helps create babies. Does anybody to. ever call you and thank you for? Uh, for I, anybody yeah, have anything yeah, funny? But like, well, my name is not on that. First yeah, yeah, yeah. of that, so you, you get that for playing the song. Yeah, any lady, any lady, a lot of boys named Lenny out there. I have no idea, Gina. Nah, I, <laughs> I love R and B, Lenny. Do you? Oh, why? 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 Well, you know, for the past couple of months, I found it funny. I've been listening to the Earth, Wind, and Fire station. That's all I listen oh. to. I drive all over, and I. I have this little gig, and I put the Earth, Wind, and Fire station on, and then everybody comes over. Is we this dance. Pandora or series? Of it's Pandora. Oh, okay. And I just, I don't, I just, I, I just. I kind of expected that they would have one. Oh my God! It got the best Earth, Wind, and Fire station on Pandora. What is it? And it's just, it's just sexy, feel good, relatable music with amazing voices, and I just, I just love R&B. You know. Good music, whether it's R and B or rock jazz. or country, jazz, it, it will stand the test of time. Good music, and it's timeless. When you look at the Marvin Gaye album, what's going on? If you listen to that album, listen to just that title, it's so relatable to 2021, and that was recorded in the 70s. Oh yes, the lyrics on that song. It's is, my God, Marvin Gaye! Wow, it's crazy. Music. I, I always use this phrase, you know, music is the soundtrack of our lives. Mm -hmm. So I want you to give me, and I want you to share this with everyone. Give me an Earth, Wind, and Fire song. Oh, please don't make this. Oh my God. Oh, okay. <laughs> After the love is gone. Oh, of course. After the love is gone. Right. So what was the decision? Right oh my when God. When that song came out. When that song came out. What year was that? Uh, it was in the seventies. I want to say between seventies. I was at the discos. I was acting. I was pretending to be a rock and roll. <laughs> it's a rock and roll, but I was into disco. I was hitting up every club in New York. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's the deal with that R&B and Earth, Wind, and Fire. I was just, well, I got married when I was 19. Everybody thought I'd be the last person. So were you married like in the, in the late 70s? I know, I got married in, well, no, I got married in 1980. In the late 70s, I was doing disco. We, you remember the Aquarius paper? There was a paper in, in New York called The Aquarian, and it had all the clubs in the back. And we would just open up that paper and we would just follow the aquarium and just hit up okay, every so club. In, in, in the hood where I'm from, yeah. we have a paper called Big Red. Big Red? And that paper had what you're talking about. Yeah. But it also what had a that? social book. No, I would look at it. Yeah. Oh, okay. But they, oh, you know what? Maybe it was another name too. Because mm -hmm. it would have the numbers in there too. It wasn't Big Red. I, let me scratch that. Because Big Red, I think, was a record book paper. 
But there was a paper that listed all the clubs and the lounges or the bars. Yeah. Because that was popping too strong in New York. Oh my God. In yes. the bars, like in the Bronx, in Brooklyn, wow. up in Harlem. Nice. And uh, some of them were speaking. You, you sang at the uh at when you were twelve the years Apollo. old in the Apollo. I just passed the Apollo because they had me taking the train up to their <laughs> locations. Now you're a real New York. Oh, and then I walked past. And I said, "Oh my God, that's the Apollo!" Yeah, and you actually had an opportunity to sing the Apollo. Yeah, the most nerve-wracking time of your life. Oh, because they don't cut you any slack, right? I remember that show you know, when I was a kid. And I was just talking to somebody. They give you the hook, right? That. Well, no, they don't give you the hook, but it's Sandman. The Sandman, yeah, the Sandman. Yeah, the he Sandman. Would come out. Yeah, the and Sandman. he would bring objects, so he'll bring yeah, yeah. A, a thing and hit you over your head, but yeah. not really hit you. You know, and he'll swing. Yeah, at you. yeah, yeah. He'll just so, swing at you. Yeah, he'll yeah. swing at you. To get you off that stage, but you know, it's not like it's a set people. I, I want everybody to know this the Apollo's not just built on people just live in the Apollo, yeah, it's people from all boroughs and sometimes from out of, out of, out of the state of New York and oh, they yeah. just come to the Apollo. But it's a tough audience, tough as a lot of audience. There's tough audiences in Miami, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, everybody's ready, no, everybody's ready to knock you down, forget it. The worst thing you can do, yeah. Is, is it's a room full of people, yeah. and they introduce Dina Six, and two people go like this. I can't even imagine. That's the most embarrassing thing in the world. Well, you know what was super exciting, and on that on that note, when I did theater and I rehearsed for this play for like three months, and I got up there and I said that line, and everybody roared laughing. I was like, "Is that what I'm talking about?" Did you ever have an experience like that? No, with laughter. No. Wow. Are you, do you? I you, like, you, you do comedy a lot. No, well, I'm a, 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 I'm a, a physical. I do. I, I did musical theater, but comedies. You know, uh -huh. I'm just a funny person, so I'm writing. I'm writing a feature script called Life Goes On. That's my first. That's a good. That's a good title. Yeah, but the laughter, Lenny, when you hear when you when you rehearse, and then all of a sudden you go, oh, and then it's on. It's on. It's on. You, you hear you, that laughter. It takes you to the next level. It has to. Be. Adrenaline. The adrenaline. So what's the biggest mistake you think comedians make? Especially ones that are just starting out. Not having a good writer, not being a good writer. They're not funny. Can anybody be funny? I don't think so. So it has to be a natural. I don't point. think everybody's funny. Do you think everybody's funny? I go, I think everybody's, yeah, a lot of people can be funny, but they don't recognize No, it. I don't think everybody's funny. So everybody doesn't have it. I think it's a personality it's trait. A, it's a gift. It's a gift. It, it's, it's a gift. It's a personality trait. Got it. Yeah, I don't think it is. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I don't. I, it's hard. No, I mean, what about what about if a person? What about if you wrote? Because you, you write. You write. I'm a writer. I didn't know. Well, now you know. I know. So if you wrote something yeah. funny in in a play or in a in a in a film for someone who's not a comedian, could they win it? Well, you know, you got you can't put the LOLs in there. You can't do he's going to go this and he's going to go like that because it's that it has to be given. It has to be chemistry. You have to get the right person because, you know, uh, somebody, uh, comedy is the hardest thing to write. You ever, ever hear Mary Lou Bell? Yeah. She explains how comedy, comedy actually has certain beats. Also, the, the word, the, each letter, uh, each word ends in, in, a, in a certain vowel mm. to end that beat, that five word beat. It's a very technical way of writing comedy. Mm. So it's a lot. Hard. That's why everybody does horror films because they're so easy. Ah, thrashers. Comedy's the hardest thing to. You have no desire to do a horror. No, I'm all comedy and Christian because I, I actually I wanted to do filthy, dirty comedies, but God was like, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna. Do, you're gonna stop on you. You're gonna do yeah. Christian films. I I did a film, a short I wrote. Uh, I got you on the state. It was a spoof on California. It was wow. filthy, dirty. It was funny. And then I realized that my heart was for for Jesus and to you know, to but I you know I, I you have to have a happy medium though, Lenny. You have yeah. to be able to be a child of God and still get your craft across, in a you know in a, a respectful in, way. In a respectful way. Yeah, and and you know faith based films right now are really extremely popular. They don't get a lot of play all the time. Again, I guess it depends. He said you have that star, but sometimes it's who who's behind. Yeah. Production as well, because obviously if you got under the Brian Franklin or Bishop T.D. Jakes, forget about it. Oh, I met Bishop T.D. Jakes. He was at his sh at his uh he was at the church the one. House. Yeah, at the at the church, uh, Devon Franklin's oh, church oh. in California. Yeah. 
I don't know, I wrote, I wrote an epic feature. Think, <laughs> think a star is born and country strong meets Jesus in the desert and it sparks a global revival. That's what my film that is about. That, that is my script. Oh, that's, that's my script. I got into its film, film it, it got uh, it selected in the film festival. That's great. Yeah. So, so what's you know, the next film coming out? Well, I don't know. I got to, uh, who not? I'm sorry, this I'm not supposed to be asking you questions. Oh, I know. But it's a habit. It's a habit. No, I don't know. You want to be executive producer? We'll get Devon Franklin. Devon Franklin, remember me from the church when I said he is the movement? An opportunity. Came yes, it was an opportunity. Opportunity, that's key. And I told Megan, I saw Megan, she was going up to one of the, uh, I don't know where she was. I said, hey, Megan, I talked to your husband. I told him about my film, The Movement. Of course, she didn't say anything right. you know, because I'm pushing it on her, too. And she's like, okay, yeah. take care. <laughs> No, you know what? Nothing ventures, nothing gains. I got nothing to lose, Lenny. And you have nothing to lose and everything to but, gain. But you know, a lot of people are so apprehensive. You gotta, you gotta have some cahoots. You know I, mean? I got cahoots. I got, what is it? Cahoots. Cahoots. Oh, Lenny. Oh my God, you're so so wonderful. You're very kind. You'll be so Thank wonderful. You so Thank, you. Thank you for talking about me. Um, your wonderful career. I just hope that. Uh, you just get out there and do some TV and some film. And also film scoring. I, I see film scoring for you. Well, I don't write music. It doesn't yeah. matter. Okay. You just pick the, the you I'll pick, pick the film. Well, if, if they still have to get cleared. You have to get cleared, for sure. I know that. But your your taste in music, uh, you know what I mean? Oh, I could hook it up. You could hook up. You I could hook it up. For sure, for sure. I, I have some uh, tapes, CDs that I've made of. But I have no access to the equipment now. But uh, I used to do some. Slow jam, mix CDs. Oh yeah. Oh, oh you mean mixing things. up the different songs and DJing yeah. and stuff like that? So yeah. I had a blue light basement one. I had a four play one. I had a suggestion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, those, 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 are, those are three areas. Oh, that's the three areas. The three areas. That's the, three the blue light, areas. the four play, the, the four play, the seduction. Bang and bring it home. Bring it home. Oh my god. I didn't do it. I, I should have made a bang, bring it home. You should have wanted a bang, bring it home. The post production. The post. There still may be hope for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to find some equipment. And make one bang right now. Lanny, I'm gonna say goodbye only because I just appreciate you so much coming. And you know, you know, it doesn't matter. You have to be like a rock star for people to listen one thirty minutes. <laughs> and, am I wrong or am I right? Yeah, I think you're right. Am I wrong or am I right? Th these days, you're lucky if you get anybody to watch. But see, I didn't know we were going live. But if I knew we were going live, I would have said. I, let me go on my social media. No, no, I love it. You know what? It doesn't matter. I'll send it to you. I'll send you the video because okay. you know you never know. You might have canceled I'll post it or something. On my yeah, post it on your YouTube job. You might have canceled, and then uh, I've done that so many times, and then the, 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 the character canceled. You know, they canceled, and you're like, oh, but I just promoted you for the right. last. Well, that happened with me. Yeah. Should I say his name? Say his name, because you wouldn't talk bad about anybody. Could you talk bad about somebody so on my show? Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons. One time. He came the second time. But we were doing a live thing. We were doing a live. I forgot what it was live. Oh, I can't remember. It was live. It was Ustream. Remember Ustream? It came out for a very quick minute. No. Well, Ustream happened before all of this. So before we got into it. Yeah. 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 Not so long ago, like maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, Ustream. And we're, I was live. I knew he was coming to the station. <laughs> what? Yo, where's Russell? Where's Russell? Where's Russell? He didn't show up. So when we finally did sit down, he said, the person you talked talk to never gave me the message. I was supposed to speak to somebody else. So it was, it was an honest mistake. Oh, it was an honest mistake. All yeah, right. The bottom line, he came back. We he take back. it back. So, so what did you do? Over. Just shut everything down and just go home? Okay. No, well. no, we, we actually turned the cameras around and I just kept the cameras on uh, with the, the, the laptop on me for another hour. Oh, there you go. To give our people a behind the scenes look at what goes on in the studio. Because it, it can be kind of comical and interesting. Oh when yeah. The mic is off. Was it just you though in the in the studio? Me and my producer. Oh, I just love it. So you and your producer did this whole whole stick for an hour. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, he's a character too. Oh, I, yeah, I'm yeah. around characters all the time. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, come on. You remember Howard Stern was the big the big oh, deal. Big deal. I mean. But we're talking about a face contest. But we're, talk, but we're talking about a quiet storm, a romantic show. Yes. And I'm not dimming my lights down with another dude in the room. You know what I'm saying? I'll dim my lights down. When Patty LaBelle came in, Patty the LaBelle. Oh my God! I and think Aretha, the lights. Did you talk with Aretha Franklin? Never spoke to Aretha. Wow. I wish I had. My God! I did you see him? Her uh, the documentary? The yes. But you know, there's another one coming up. 
Uh, oh, Jennifer Hudson. I'm about to. Oh, Je who? Thank God they are so lucky that Jennifer Hudson is around because she's the only one that could play Aretha Franklin. Well, that's what Aretha said. Well, Aretha, it's the only Aretha one. said to her, "Right, I want you to play." Only way. So I was surprised that this other film came out. Mm. I was really surprised because. Right. But that's a more documentary, though. Well, this is kind of similar too. It's kind oh. of a biopic. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah it's kind of a biopic. You're gonna. It's good. Forrest Whitaker is in it. Oh Mary J. Blige is in it. Oh my God, I love me. So it's gonna be. It's gonna be a great. It's, uh, wow. fact, I want you to listen to the wow. Black Storm. Um, yeah. In two weeks. Oh, here I'll we go. I'm it. actually letting him promote his show. Yeah, yeah. He's supposed in to two be weeks. The one on in two weeks, <laughs> please check out the Black Storm. Yes. Whether it's in New York or whether it's Miami, Jennifer Hudson will be um, on on the show. Oh my God, I have a real life celebrity. Lenny, I mean, you are. I mean, thank you so much for coming on, man. I, I wanted to have a, a, my first live show, and really, it didn't matter if you came next Tuesday. I would have sat here <laughs> under a white dress. I, I, I'm so <laughs> sorry. No, you know, no. I, I learned. Just love it. Love it. Never disappoint Dina Six. No, it was great. You, you could never. She's going to find out all the dirt on you. No, 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 but he knows the Bob Franklin. I got to be cool. <laughs> 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 Hi, Devon. Look who I'm with. <laughs> no. All right. So. Right, thank you. Yeah, thank Thanks you so much. Interest. I really and best of luck. Yeah. Uh, thank you. You too. You too. Please. Just remember, please remember me when you are nominated for the Oscar. Don't walk what by Oscar? me, Dina. Don't don't walk by me, Dina. Oh, okay. Uh, don't bring oh, me. Okay. Don't say what. Well, Francine Cruz will set up the interview. We're gonna make then, Francine pop in and wave goodbye before we leave. Is she gonna get in? Is she dressed properly? I don't think she's. No, she's she probably dressed for taking that. <laughs> she is. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Sir. Thank you so much. Bless you, really. Bless, bless you too. Bye, gang. That's what I haven't done yet. Oh my God! You pulled.